Hello class, it's good to have you here. We're going to see the Kiva assignment so you understand it more fully. The Kiva assignment is uh, sent to you this way. I want you to follow this link like I'm going to do. I'm going to attempt to uh, follow it straight away. The, clicking on the link will bring you right to the Kiva lending team for this. You're going to... I'm already logged in so it recognizes me. I have $25 already added that I did through my PayPal account some time ago. And so now what I'd like to do is find a person. So I'm interested in making a uh, particular kind of, I'm going to search for somebody that's in an underbanked area. And uh, we'll see what comes up. You can search through any of those choices. Or you can just see what comes on up here. Uh, the Ponzi group in the Congo, Pakistan, Peru. Here's Jose. Uh, my name is Jose in El Salvador. So that's a good enough reason. He's got $700 to go. He wants to buy cattle and sell it to the market. I'm going to go ahead and lend it to that person. I'd like to know a little bit more about him, though. So I'm going to learn more. And down here, I've got this uh, snipping tool. The snipping tool is available here. So um, I'm going to uh, use the snipping tool to capture this person. And... Um, you can see that it's not going to work out that well because I need to uh, um, I need to uh, have his picture and some other things about him down here. His dream is to have a vehicle of his own, so I'm going to change this down to about 80% um, or so. That should um, give me what I need. And now I'm going to go back to the snipping tool, hit new, and I'm going to copy this right here. I uh, get gather everything I need to, and then I'm going to open up a Word document. Uh, of course, I already have one here started, but I'm going to start a fresh one. It's going to go to a new one, blank document, and... Um, I'm going to put my uh, heading on there and, and then I'm going to just post that right into there by pasting it because it was already on there. Now I know I'm going to need more space so I'm going to change my layout so that the margins are narrow. That's going to buy me a little bit of space down here. After, now that I've got that on there, I've got three questions to answer. One, two, and three. Because I've logged on by following the link, I'm already a member of the group, so I won't need to give a copy of my receipt, and I'm simply going to answer the three questions right here about what Jose is going to do. Having, uh, I do need to actually make the donation, though, so the way I'm happy with Jose, I think he's going to do a good job. I'm going to hit Lend Now, and I'm going to proceed to checkout. And um, I've got the $25. The uh, I'm going to decide not to give anything extra. Uh, oh, uh, hold on. I am going to use my Kiva credit, the $25. I'm going to... Um, edit this amount from uh, 375 down to nothing. Update my donation so that's just the straight 25. You'll be able to make loans to Kiva directly another time if you wish. And then I'm going to hit continue. That's all there is to it. I completed the order. I've made $25 to Jose German. And uh, I complete my order. And uh, that's very nice. Good. There's a little store there. Got the order confirmation. Don't need to do anything with that. What I do need to do is go back to my original uh, assignment and see what I've done. So I followed the link. I've joined the team. I chose an entrepreneur. I loaned them $25. I captured their photo and biographical profile. I created a Word document. I'm going to have to name it Kiva uh, Joe Stenard. Well, and I need to put it in that name. So where's my blank document right here? Right now it's called Document 2. I need to hit Save and call it um, 
let me see, Kiva, uh, Joe Stenard, and I'm um, saving it that way. Very good, that'll make it easy for me to find it when I send it up to, uh, when I have to load it onto Blackboard. I now have to answer these three questions right here. The uh, answer the following questions. What reason do I have for choosing that entrepreneur? And so after all, I had to make a decision about it. What impact will your loan have on the local economy? And what's the biggest challenge or risk facing the entrepreneur? So I'd have to analyze it a bit more. I was trying to make the video very short, but let's uh, see if we can go back and figure out what the answers to those questions are. So if we pop back to our our piece here. Jose never had a chance to go to school. He's married and his wife runs a business. I chose him answer number one because his name was Jose and he was in an, an underbanked area and my name is Jose so I uh, and I've been to El Salvador so I wanted to support um, that. I have no reason not to. I get excited. Maybe someday we will meet each other but um, uh, I'm married. I have a wife. I run a business. We have four children. He has six. There's a lot of simpatico there. Jose earns his living as a cattle farmer. He goes to markets to buy and sell cattle. His father taught him how to do it. He also grows yucca and maize. He plans to use the loan money to buy cattle and to raise and then sell in the markets. His dream is to have a vehicle of his own so he can transport the cattle. He also plans to make good use of the profit he makes so he can pay off his loan. Very good. So, answer to the number one question. Why did I choose him? I just said so. What good will it do if he's successful? Well, certainly he's feeding people, he's providing for his family. Those are personal things. But we're looking for an answer. What is he doing for his community if he's successful? His community will have uh, good sources of uh, uh, protein. But possibly the cattle is also going to provide him with some other, uh, um, you know, uh, they might provide the community with a workhorse and things like that. And if he is successful and able to get uh, transportation, he'll get even better prices because he'll be able to uh, 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 be active in more than one market. And if he's unsuccessful, the biggest risk he's facing is the health of the cattle and the problems with um, that, that uh, are endemic with livestock. So his biggest risks uh, are certainly uh, a fallout in the cattle market. Uh, he could uh, buy high and sell low. Or his, uh, and it's also it's his only chance. His health uh, could be in jeopardy as well. I mean, he looks like he's very strong and healthy, but but it's a major risk because it's depending entirely on his ability to to stay productive. So that's probably his biggest risk. So there's my three answers, and that's all there is to the assignment. Upload it to to uh, Blackboard, and you are done.